Hello my girlies and welcome back to my kitchen. Okay, it's your girl Riley. You guys know I already got the apron on, which means we're gonna be cooking again, okay? Here's my usual pretty dirty kitchen as always. Kettle is on the stove as usual, even though she's never used in any of my videos. Okay, and I got my pan that I'm gonna be using today, okay? So, but I had it there because I don't know if you guys can see, this side's a little dirtier, so we're gonna just ignore that. So as you guys can see by the title, um, I'm gonna be trying my best to make a Crunchwrap Supreme, okay? So here's the deal, right? Here's the tea. I think a lot of people are gonna cancel me for this because it's not that I don't like, it's just I've never had, but I have never, ever had Taco Bell before. I've never had Taco Bell before. I I don't really know what to expect when I have Taco Bell when it comes to Taco Bell because like I mean like I said I don't, I've never had it before you know what I mean being the Mexican American that I am I've just never tried Taco Bell because I'm like in my opinion I'm like if I want Mexican food like I know people on the streets who sell better Mexican food in my opinion you know what I mean but I don't want to get into that please don't cancel me because I've never had Taco Bell before but yeah, I'm gonna be making a crunch up today. I've seen a lot of TikToks of people on, on people showing you how to make it and stuff, and it doesn't look that hard, all right? So I got my ground beef, which is currently soaking in water because it was in the freezer. And then I have here bits of lettuce and a tomato because I love lettuce and tomato. Sour cream. We got Tostitos. Um, Queso. We have the main part of the crunch up, which is tostadas. And then we also got the big ass tortilla. And last but not least, but of course the most important is Mexican cheese. Okay, this is the four cheeses Mexican shred. This stuff is good, okay? See, I have all my stuff. Now I, all I gotta do is basically prep the stuff. So, let me try to do something, all right? We're gonna have that started. Cutting board. We got the knives here, okay, we got the Pioneer Woman, so we're good on knives. I'm thinking we start by chopping off the vegetable part, um, just to get that over with. So let me wash these. I only cut up half a tomato just because I'm only going to cut right now the exact stuff for what I'm going to make for me, so, you know. When my sister comes, if she wants one, I can cut up some stuff for her. She doesn't even like tomatoes, so I think tomato is just like a me thing, so. Typical Mexican stuff is that we always have everything stored in the oven, so, you know, for those of you who may not believe that I'm, you know, that Mexican, there you guys go. I just brought a whole comal out of the oven. I might not start this yet because I still have to make the meat, so let me make, let me bring the meat over here. Got me. Also, I'm going to point out once again, like last time when I made pancakes, I didn't mention at all and you guys didn't see me. But I did wash my hands, guys, okay? Just because I didn't point it out or I, you didn't see me do it, okay? I did wash my hands. So, everyone relax, okay? All right, so I moved you guys over here to get in on the cheese mess. So as you can see, the meat is starting to get brown, which is what we need, all right? So I'm gonna let the meat just kind of sizzle there for a little bit. I'm gonna put it on medium just so I don't burn it while I'm doing other stuff. TikTok that I did see, I did see that they have to like when you wrap it, obviously the tortilla is usually not big enough to wrap around the whole thing. So you have to have like another little piece of tortilla on like where the holes are. So that's what I'm doing here. I have just a singular tortilla right here and I'm gonna just cut it up most likely into fours. Don't know if I'm gonna use all those eventually, but you know, I'm gonna go ahead and just do what the TikToks told me to do. That was not straight, but Neither am I. All right, so even though for one that I'm gonna be making for me, I am gonna use just the one, but don't worry, these will not go to waste. I will just simply make more. Like I said, my sister, when she comes, she'll most likely want one. So, you know, it's not like that rest of that tortilla is going to waste, but I am gonna grab another one as the main one. Okay, so the meat was all done, so I already, I already put it away. Also, yes, ignore the fact that I had to put beans to defrost, so, you know. Gotta put beans. Not for this video though, that's just for like the house. But you know, now we're heating up the comal here. I switched to the little one because obviously I need the space because of, you know, the beans. So yeah, we're gonna prep the comal and then we're gonna start doing the tortillas. 
Right, so I'm gonna start off by heating up my tortilla ref first because that's how I like my tortillas, you know, to be a little heated up first. Remove these guys here because I will need them as well. It's done. Let's heat it up now. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get our cheese. Alright. I'm gonna get some of this Tostinos cheese. Rub some of this all over the tortilla. Oh my god, this is already making me so hungry. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some of the meat. By the way, I don't know exactly if this is like a correct order from Taco Bell. I'm just going in the order that I want, all right? A tostada, all right, I'm gonna put the tostada right here. And then with some sour cream. I'm gonna rub some sour cream on this here tostada. I might have used a lot, but you know what? I'm not even mad about that. Who just doesn't love sour cream? Then we're gonna get, go ahead and add our veggies. Okay, now here's where this tortilla comes in. I'm gonna place this here and try my best to wrap this up. Oh wait, no, I literally forgot the most important thing. How could I have forgotten you? How? I don't understand how I did that. How mad would I have been if I legit forgot about the cheese? Oh my god, I just love cheese so much. Now I'm gonna go ahead and place this one here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and begin the wrapping process. Oh my god, I'm like so excited. Just like that. I mean, it's the shape of it. I got the shape correct. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put it on the comal. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. As someone who's never even had talked about, I'm so excited. I'm like so scared to flip it, guys. Okay, definitely needs more time to toast up here. Oh my god. Okay, so I didn't let that toast up exactly enough, but I'm just gonna be flipping it. That way it doesn't like get stuck or something. Oh my god. Look at how grilled that's looking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Guys. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like you can't even see my face, but I'm so excited. God, you guys. It's so beautiful. And we're gonna do the cutting process and then the opening, cause that's like the aesthetic image of the crunch wrap. So I think I'm gonna cut like right here. Oh, I like that crunchiness. Either these are good knives or this just like was made so good. Okay, so ignore my mess over there. Okay, but here's the crunch wrap. Imagine I just dropped it right here. Okay, we're gonna open it up together. Are you guys ready for this? All right, three, two, one. Oh my God. That looks so good, you guys. That looks so good. Hold on, get that like in, like focus. <gasps> guys, this looks amazing. Hey you guys, taste testing time. I'm so excited for this. All right, here we go, all right? Three, two, one. Mmm. Oh my god. Mm hmm Wow. I mean, obviously this ain't Taco Bell, but I get it, you know? Hold on, I have something that will make it even better. We go in Cholula with this. Oh my god. The only thing is that the meat does fall off easily. I think that's what like people on TikTok were like adding like water when they're making the meat, but I don't know. I just wanted to make it how I'm used to making it. Oh my god, some hot sauce. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I can honestly say. This is the first successful <laughs> cooking video that I've made so far. My last two were baking videos. This is cooking. 
So I'm kind of getting the hint that maybe I'm not the best at baking, but I am a pretty good cook, so. Wow, oh my God. If my friends could try this right now, I know they'd be at my house more often. All right, well anyways, this is the end of this video, you guys. Sorry, I still have food in my mouth. If you guys enjoyed it, then please make sure to leave me a like. And please make sure to subscribe, okay? We are pretty close to 600 subscribers, you guys. So please, please subscribe to your girly, okay? I freaking love making videos for you guys. No matter what it is, like if it's cooking, if it's makeup, if it's vlogging, if it's conspiracy theories, you guys know I do conspiracies now. So whatever it is, please let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see next, okay? And also leave me a comment what you would like to see me try to make maybe it's something i've made before maybe it's something i've never made before regardless let me know in the comments what you guys would want to see me make and i'll see you guys next time bye uh.